Okay, let's find data types in Tableau. Go ahead and download, if you haven't already, this insurance.csv file right down here. And uh, let's go ahead and import that into Tableau and take a look at it. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, it's a text file. I have it over here. Yours is probably in your downloads folder. I'm looking for data. Okay. Here we, have, here we go. Uh, age, sex, BMI, body mass index, number of children, whether or not they're a smoker, yes or no, region they live in, and this is simplified down to four regions, and then their charges for that year. So the purpose of this data set, or the business problem, whatever you want to call it, problem opportunity, is to explain insurance charges. Because if I'm an insurance company, I want to know when someone comes to buy insurance from me what their predicted cost is. If I can predict their cost, then I can... I can charge a rate that's going to make sure that I can cover uh, cover my costs well. Or if I if I have someone come in, I can use their personal information, like where they live and all this information, to uh, estimate that cost. So, what we want to do is start by just finding the, the data types. Well, Tableau makes it really easy for us because the moment we import it, we have that already right here. So here it is added, and I know on my screen it's really small because I have this 4K screen here on the laptop and it just, and the way it adapts it here, it's kind of difficult. But if take a look right here at these, uh, at these feature names and right above it, you'll see on your own screen, uh, this one is a pound sign. If I click on that for age, that pound sign means number whole. Well, what data type is that again? Well, if we go back here to our list in the book, we know that that means it's a discrete number. So if you have a programming background, you know, we often call that an integer as well, whole number. Number decimal means it's a continuous number. Or if you're a programmer, another term for that is a float. So here you can find out what all of these are. Okay, well, that makes it really easy. In Tableau, we can also even convert it back and forth. For example, if I change it to decimal number, look at how it adds four decimals after that and leaves that opportunity for that. So I'm going to go back to decimal whole. Uh, notice there's also date types. Uh, that's worth noting. Uh, string simply means text or categorical, and Boolean means uh, dichotomous or binary, true, false, zero, one. All right, so now we know it. What do we do? All right, well, we need some process to keep track of all these things. And if you're following a formal CRISP DM process, you're probably going to have to deliver those reports we were referring to back here in the introduction. So remember these back here. We've got this collection report, data description report. What does this refer to? Oh, yeah, it's things like our uh, format, quantity, date required, uh, uh, field, surface uh, features. Basically, this is where we're going to put data type. So let, let's start a document. Um, you could do this in Word, Excel, something else like that. I'm going to come up here and open up a new document and simply uh, fill this in. And we'll call this my, I'm going to skip this initial data collection report. I didn't really cover where this data came from. Um, so I'm just going to skip that for now and show you where we're going to put each of these things that we're coming up with. So I'm going to make this simple. And for this book or this class, speak with your instructor to know for sure what uh, she or he is going to require for the homework or checkpoint here. I'm going to call this my data description report. And let's give that a nice fancy uh, Heading one format here, and um, I'll uh, I'm going to start by simply listing out the variables that I have. So uh, I'll save any text for now and just put simply here. Um, we've got age. Let's go back to our list. Sex, BMI, children. Uh, I think we had smoker, region, and then charges. All right, so we need some information on each of these. Now, just because I know ahead of time, I can tell you there's a lot of stuff we're going to collect on these. It may be complicated to list everything here in this bullet point format, um, but you can do that, and I see it used that way at times so that people can sit here and write a definition for this. This is the age of the um, case or of the customer represented in the case. And then we can go put in here um, integer format or uh, number or 
discrete or whatever version you want to use for how you want to describe what the data type is. Personally, uh, that's fine with me. I like to use tables a bit more, but um, yeah, in fact, I think I will switch mine to a table. So I just wanted you to see both formats. I'm going to come down here and instead, I know I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll make an eighth one for a title and I'm going to insert, there we go, eight, and I'm going to have a lot of stuff. You'll see when we get there. So I'm going to put in here uh, feature as my title, age, and then I'll just put all of these in right here. So for me, for uh, if you're one of my students, I don't care which format you use. We just need to get all this information in here. Uh, you take your choice. So region charges. Okay, so I'm going to save this because I still want to keep my definition up here for what each of these are. And I want to keep that separate from this table. So uh, we'll call this, this is the bio, biological sex of the customer. This is the body mass index of the customer. Um, number of children of the customer. Whether or not, so it's going to be in the data set. I saw that it was a yes, no. See that right there? Yes, no. Whether or not, I like to give a little idea of, of what to expect here uh, in terms of data, whether or not the customer is a smoker, where the customer lives, and then I don't know this for sure. I'm just going to assume and guess, but I believe this is the annual uh, charges incurred by the company on behalf of this customer. Okay, so for our data description report, um, there's our data dictionary. I'm going to give this a subtitle right here. Dictionary, call that heading two. And then down here, I am going to call this uh, univariate properties. Remember we talked about bivariate versus univariate. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bold everything across this table. And uh, next, we're going to put in data type. That's what we just discovered. So age we have, I'm going to stick with, I think I like, um, I like the programming terminology. I'm going to call this an integer, but again, you can call it discrete and call it whole number, whatever you want. I'm going to call this a Boolean, um, not an integer, integer, Boolean. BMI, let's take a look. What was that? Well, look, we got decimals. So what does that mean? Well, Tableau calls it a number decimal. Uh, in programming terms, we often call that a float. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. But again, feel free to use whatever you want. Children, integer, smoker, boolean. Now, in this case, smoker uh, is a yes, no. Where Sorry, I confused smoker with sex before. Sex is male, female. Smoker is yes, no. So technically, uh, yeah, they're both booleans in that there's only two values, but they're a different two values. So... If you want to call this, you know, the, Tableau is going to lump all these together, all of these text fields, and as I'll show you in one moment here. But I like to keep track of in my mind if there are only two values, whether it's 0, 1, yes, no, true, uh, you know, male, female, true, false. I like to call it a Boolean because there are implications for that later. Region, I'm going to call this a uh, categorical. Or no, 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 I'm going to stick with string. That's the programming term. And then charges finally is a float because it has decimals here. Okay, got data type down. Got it from Tableau. Notice when I come over here to sheet one, you might remember this from, from going through the Tableau getting started videos and, and all that. We Tableau divides it simply into dimensions and measures. So oftentimes when we get into the actual applications we use for data analytics to keep things simple, we just divide them all up into text and numbers. So dimensions are the text fields, measures are the numeric fields. And uh, that's what Tableau calls them. Okay, uh, next, let's go back to our chapter and see if we've got everything we needed to get. Uh, we said we wanted variable type and data type. Okay, so variable type. 
where do we get that from? Feature versus label. Well, remember what I set up here? Variable type is subjectively determined by the data scientist. So what that means is it's up to me. Now, I actually like to put uh, variable type first. After this, I'm going to call this just type. In my mind, the purpose of this data set would be, like I said earlier, to explain charges. So I'm going to call that the label and the rest of these features. Whoops. So now if there's only one label, can't we just bold it or something like that? Well, other times, most times, you're not going to have a data set this clean as this insurance data set. And there's often various candidate labels. For example, if you were going to predict customer satisfaction, let's say you had several measures like re count of repeat purchases. That'd be one measure of customer satisfaction. You have another one that is a survey where they answered a Likert type scale question that said, uh, I am very satisfied with this company on a scale of one to seven. And if the market number, that could be another variable. And that's also a potential label. So sometimes you ha this is useful because you'll have several labels and you want to mark all those that are potential labels and the rest is features. All right, I'm going to save this and we're going to be working on this document throughout the chapter. Uh, so uh, find some place to save this now and we'll call it good and move on.